Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and we are checking out the new design changes found in the Messages app. Now along with that, there are also some notable features. So we're going to go ahead and take a look inside of this guy. So as you can see here, I have my messages pulled up and we have a completely different design. No longer can you swipe to the right to pull up the delete button. You actually have to swipe to the left and you have that big delete square right there as you can see. Now let's go inside of a message here, check this out. As you can see, we have a bit of a different layout. Now these bubbles actually go from a gradient to a dark blue to a light blue at the top there, depending on how long the string of conversation is. Now one thing I noticed is if you want to delete multiple messages, you actually can't tap on an edit button in the top corner anymore. That's not available. They replaced it with a contact button. So if you want to delete more than one message at once, you have to tap and hold on the message and then tap on more. And then here you'll bring up these little dots where you can select different messages and you can delete them all at the same time, just like that. Pretty simple. Not a whole lot of change in that department. Now, what if you've been getting harassing messages from somebody? Well, Let's just say Orange here is harassing the heck out of me and he will not stop iMessaging me or calling me or whatever. You can actually block contacts in iOS 7. So if we go to the contact tab here and we tap on info, at the bottom you'll notice that we have block this color. So if we tap on that, We'll pull up this dialogue and as you'll see here, I will not be able to receive phone calls, messages, or FaceTime from people on the block list. Then I can tap block contact and be on my way. So Orange will no longer be able to contact me. Now I'm not sure if this syncs across iCloud yet because I haven't had a chance to test it. My assumption would be yes, but I'm not exactly sure because like I said, I haven't had a chance to test it across multiple devices. Now if you wanna unblock the contact, you can just tap on that button once more. Now there's also a nice little list to see all of your blocked contacts in one place. So if I block this caller again real quick and then we go into the settings app here, and scroll down to messages, tap on messages. At the bottom, you'll notice that you have blocked and you can open that up and see a list of your blocked contacts. You can go into one and even add a note if you want. So I can open this up and put in, I hate this guy for whatever reason. But I guess it's good that you can add notes in here because then you won't forget why you blocked that person and possibly unblock them on accident. Being able to block people on your iOS device has been a desired feature for quite some time. So I'm finally glad that Apple implemented something like this to fulfill our needs. As you can see here, this is the new layout for the Messages app, slightly different from before. A lot of the same features, except you do have that new block feature for messages. And also along with all of these other features, we do have a different little dialogue box for things like choosing a photo. We have a totally different dictation button here. If you tap on that, you'll see that we have these little waves going right here. And then also we have the emojis, which are all the same, by the way, in case you were curious. So once again, this has just been a quick rundown of the Messages app in iOS 7. I wanted to give you a little preview. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. This is Dom and have a great day.